It is time to leak the full new card list of the pack coming out tomorrow. Let's hop right into this. We're doing a giveaway. Like, subscribe, comment for $100. I just woke up, so I'm a little groggy here. We're going to have a new pack opening day tomorrow around 4 p.m. EST. I do want to actually run this a lot earlier, so I will try. Also, we're going to have a $2,000 tournament qualifier, possibly new leaks that day also. And I will be giving away TCG cards, PSA graded 8, 9, 10, 300, 400, $500 cards. So show up to the stream. Now, let's get right to this in a random order. I'm going through all the cards, all right? Boom. This is the new pack coming out tomorrow. Kitty Tail Mystical Beast of the Forest. What the heck is this? If, if this is summoned, you could target a beast, a card, monster, or a plant, or insect. What the heck? That's a lot of uh, card types. Send a monster with the same original type from your deck to the graveyard. If this card in your owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, you could add one beast, wing beast, insect, plant, all the beast types, except the kitty tail. What can we do with this? I, I don't even know. What? <laughs> what? Kitty Kale combo? Is there a Kitty Kale combo? I could search up real quick. Uh, did, did not really look at this. Mystical Beat testing deck. Okay, yeah, uh, look it up. Uh, when did this even co come out? Did this come out with... Uh, what, what's up with this wiki? This is... Uh, okay, When I just want to know when this... Cyberstorm Access. That, okay, that just came out for TCG. Uh, have they even cooked with this or what? Well, we're getting it in tomorrow's pack. All right, very cool. Not sure if they're using it. Wish Dragon. You can tribute this card, special summon two dragon tokens. This is also, I looked this up, it's Cyberstorm Access. I know, the, what the heck? Cyberstorm Access cards. Special summon two tokens. You cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except level five or higher dragon monsters. You can only use this effect of Wish Dragon once per turn. Help me out in the comments. What are we using this with? What's going on? I'm not familiar with anything that's not been top in YCSs. All right, uh, cool. Let's move on. And by the way, this is 40 new cards I'm showing you. I'm actually showing you 43. Three of these cards within the 40 randomly are going to be within the legacy packs. All right, let's go. Let's go. Thunderball. If a monster battles at the end of the damage step, you could special summon this card from your hand. Okay. You could send one trap from your hand or set on your field to the graveyard to destroy all other monsters in this card's column. Send a trap from hand or set on your field, destroy in the column. Cards that interact with the column. There's a recent card I played that I had a lot of fun with within the column, and it was, I was playing it in a runic deck. I, oh my cheese, I, it's this one. This one's crazy. Destroy everything in the column. And uh, by the way, there is going to be top tier cards in what I am leaking today. All right. So there will be a huge meta impact. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle of card effect and sent to the graveyard, you could target one card in your graveyard, roll the die. If it's a six, then oh, oh my Jesus. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. All right. Blazing, blazing Cartesia. You already know about this. It's going to be used in branded decks. This is good. You're going to get fusion summoning with it. Quick effect fuse during your opponent's turn or your turn. It's going to add to the combos. Watch my branded Despia video on how to use Cartesia. It's going to be a part of the normal combo now. Very good. Laughing Puffin. If a face-up spell trap is on the field, you could special summon this card from your hand. So I'm thinking, does this deal with floodgates? If there's a skill drain on the field, I special summon this. You could tribute one wing beast monster, then target that face-up spell and trap card in the field. Well, it's wing beast, so you tribute itself. It does work under skill drain. Return the face-up card to the hand, but you cannot activate cards or effects with the same name. Okay, so you could put your own face-up card back to your hand or your opponent's, and if you're returning your own card or even your opponent's, you still can't activate that card. Okay. This is a quick effect if all monsters you control are wing beast. Minimum one. Okay, so if you special summon this, they try to deal with it, and it's the only wing beast monster you control because you have no other monsters and you're just dealing with that skill drain, you're wiping out that skill drain quick effect. Very cool. All right, I like this. If you have a small world bridge for this, you could search it and deal with some floodgates. Not that Mastodal is really having a problem with floodgates recently. 
because they're all getting limited up. Yeah, limited to one, limited to one, limit, limit, limit. Very cool. All right. Anti-floodgate. I'm for it. Silent Wolf Kalupo. If this card is summoned, equip the top card of your deck to this card as a face down equip spell. What? During the end phase, your opponent calls the original type of that equip card by this card's effect. If they call it right, send this card to the graveyard. If they call it wrong, discard one random card from your opponent's hand. And if you do, return this to the hand. This is during the end phase. So you summon this, you equip, you end your turn, and then you might randomly discard a card from your opponent's hand. And if you return this to your hand, the equip card goes to the graveyard, and maybe it's got a trigger effect to do something in the graveyard uh, you know, during your end phase. That's what's going to be happening, though. Uh, okay, this is a troll card, yes? Fierce Tiger Mongu. All other monsters on the field lose 500 attack. Once per turn during your main phase, you could destroy all monsters on the field with less than this card. During this... During your main phase, destroy all monsters on the field with less attack. So non-targeting destruction has to be less attack than this card. So if you plus 400 here, it's going to be wiping out anything with 2100 attack or less. 2200, it will equal 1700, so you cannot destroy it. All right. The, the, it's like the Wangu. But the Wangu's is uh, kind of cooler, I guess. When a monster summoned with 1,400 or less, destroy those monsters. And this is basically non-target, non-trigger, though. It's spell speed one, wipe out 2,100 or less. The Abyss Actor Pendulum. I, I can't really tell you much about this. Uh, get Abyss Actor in. It's a wild deck. It's crazy. Watch up my Abyss Actor video, which I don't even use this card. I'm not sure if they're going to use this card. You tell me. Discard a card. If they declare an attack, special summon this to your opponent's field. <laughs> okay. And then if special summon from the pendulum zone, which you're doing if your opponent declared an attack while seeing this as a pendulum card, the owner of this card reveals three abyss scripts. Okay. Their opponent randomly picks one. What? Wait, what? What? Okay. Uh, in oh, interesting. The owner of this card. You are the owner, even though it's special summon to your opponent's side of the field. Okay. If this card is destroyed, you could shuffle one Abyss script. Okay, yeah, interesting. So you do want to touch up on the knowledge of owner and possession. Let me uh, show you real quick. I, I know uh, some people are not going to be happy that we're uh, spending time with each other. That's okay. Owner keyword. Owner. So owner states that refers to the player that originally possesses a card. A card's owner is different from controller. So if you special summon it, you're still the owner of the card. You own the card, all right? Adularia of the June Moon. If you control a face-up card and you're spelling traps and you could special summon this card from your hand, so it's similar to the Wing Beast that dealt with Floodgates. You could only special summon this once per turn this way. Gain 600 attack and defense for each spell and trap on the field. Send two face-up cards from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard to send a level four or lower monster from your deck to the graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn. I don't really know what's going on here, but um, you tell me. Let me know in the comments. This deal drew a swarm. We already know. This card's getting limited to one. All right, moving on. Uh, you know, this is going to be impact in the meta like crazy. Light or dark decks, this is going to be a quick effect DD Crow and special summon on the field if your opponent controls a monster, and there's a ton of them. All right, next. Same thing. Magna Hut, quick effect DD Crow, special summon, banish from a light or dark from either player's graveyard. Serenir. Brandon's going to love this. And what's interesting about this, this could be discarded from the hand and it will activate to send a Bistial or Branded from your deck to the graveyard. Very cool. So if you Branded opening, discard this, you Lubellion, discard this, it will still trigger on top of it being the DD Crow effect. Yes, a lot of people were incorrectly saying that I leaked this. I did not. I left it up for you all to guess on if you think it's coming. And a lot of you correctly guessed that this is coming. This did not come in the same pack as the other Biz deals in, within the TCG. I think OCG also. Yeah, uh, they did not come in the same pack. OCG already limited to one. So what's so good about it? Why is it limited to one? And But not being limited to one in Master Duel alongside the Jurassic and the Magna Hut. 
This is same effect, DD Crow, same attack defense, same level. Now, the other effect is it's got a trigger effect in the field. If your opponent special summons a ritual, fusion, synchro, exceed, or link, pretty much something from the extra deck, they special summon it while this is on the field. You then activate this to tribute one other light or dark monster you control, then target one of those special summon monsters and banish it. So, very interesting, very cool. You can only use each effect once per turn. All righty, let's move on. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, here's a deck list of someone using this in a YCS using three ball Drake. And I don't know, I don't think the Druid Swarm was even limited. So they were playing three ball Drake over the Druid Swarm. Very, very cool. All right, moving on. Manticore of Smashing. During your main phase, you could add a Fissure or Smashing Ground from your deck to your hand. So it's not a Fissure card. Not, so you're not going to add Dimensional Fissure. It has to be actual Fissure. And if this card is in your graveyard, you could banish one Fissure or Smashing Ground from your hand or graveyard. Special summon this card. I love this old school throwback of trying to, you know, give some more synergy with this. I don't know, in some kind of maybe casual alternative Yu-Gi-Oh formats, this would be a lot of fun. Or maybe they could actually attempt to make something like this top tier. During main phase, add from deck to hand. Okay, I, I think for this to be uh, maybe a contender for doing something, it would have to be add Fissure or Smashing Ground from deck to hand, then special summon this from your hand. Oh boy. In your graveyard, banish, fissure, hand or graveyard, special summon. Okay, uh, very interesting. Wild. Bestial Lubellion, you already know that's coming. It's going to be searching for any of the Bestials and be a very good combo for branded Despia. If we look at the tier list right now, a lot of people not uh, understanding this correctly. This is already post-ban list. This is being mixed with pre-ban list and post-ban list. It's pretty much the latest 100 tournament topping decks which the majority are pre ban list, but I just had my post ban list tournament, which is mixing with the results, which have dropped it from tier zero to tier one. It was tier zero, the entirety of pre ban list. Post ban list, only then it has dropped. So Brand Despia now climbing up a bit. And uh, yeah, so you could play a face up branded lost with the Lubellion. Let's get back to the cards. All right, let's zoom in. Alba loss, unfortunately, top tier YCS players were not playing this, but it's a pretty fun card if you watch my branded video, summoning this and all extra deck monsters on the field are now negated. So you summon it against a Baguska, they're negated right away. If your opponent deals with it, they're gonna lose their entire extra deck until their end phase. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Alba Zoa, you build a whole deck around this. Unaffected, it makes all your Dogmatica monsters, including itself, unaffected from extra deck monsters. Unaffected. So uh, activate effects of extra deck monsters. And then also you get to force your opponent to send up to basically seven cards from their extra deck to the graveyard. If I were to give you the choice to seven, send seven cards from your extra deck to the graveyard and you depend on your extra deck, I'm probably screwing up your extra deck strategy, and that's what this deck aims to do. I'm excited to play it. D Dimension, yes. Yeah, okay. So will this be in the pack, or will it be in the legacy pack? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Konami's trolling me here, all right? I made a, a legit, I actually did an educated guess six months ago. That was actually a guess that this was coming with the Morphtronic cards, and it didn't. And a lot of people like to remind me about that, including Clockwork Knight, almost every single day. Uh, yeah, lots of fun there. So uh, again, this is either in the pack or legacy pack. It's it's coming. It's coming. Uh, it should be this week or next week. I don't know. It's in the info I got. That's all I could tell you. Uh, Abyss Actors Dress Rehearsal. At the start of your main phase, add an Abyss Actor card and an Abyss script from your deck to your hand. Ooh, double search. That is nuts. Not or, it's and. That is huge. I don't know if I even, I don't think I showcased this in my Abyss Actor video. So this is huge. You probably were expecting this anyway. Double search, double pog. Dramatic story. I think I showcased this in the Abyss Actor video. Make sure you watch it. If this card is destroyed by the opponent's card effect, which you trick your opponent, you, you make your opponent pop this. 
what you're going to do is you're going to return up to two cards on the field to the hand. So kind of a disruption. Dungeon dice, just like the dungeon, uh, the other one. Dice dungeon, dungeon dice, legacy pack or this pack. I, I don't know. The, the, I told you there's three cards within these uh, 40 cards, and uh, three of them are coming in a legacy pack. Very cool. Branded regained. Light or dark is banished. Well, that's what you do with the Biss deals. You then get to target one of the banished monsters, put it to the bottom of the deck, then draw a card. So you will likely trigger this on your turn to draw one, and then Biss deal, trigger it again on your opponent's turn to draw one again. So over two turns, draw two, and you could set this up with the Biss deal Lubellion. Are people playing it? Some were and some weren't because it's going to be competing with Branded Loss, Branded Beast, and yeah, those two other cards to want to play face up in your back row. And if your opponent summons a monster, you could target a Bistial in your graveyard, special summon it. So it's got some cool recursion there with your Bistials on top of drawing and recycling the cards. You it's a lot of recursion. Now, let's keep on going. Oh, no. Gia is back. The dog's are going to go nuts. All right. Uh, hopefully, it's not in the recording too much. Decisive Battle of Golgonda. This card becomes the Grand Sea Gold Golgonda while on the field or in the graveyard. And, uh, okay. Uh, I'm not too familiar with this. I'll just be straight up. During the end phase, if you have a Fallen Albaz on your field or in your graveyard, you could special summon a Springins from your hand. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, interesting. This is a continuous spell. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to really understand this. All right, let's go on. The showdown. I think I showed this in the Tri Brigade video, and um, I remember it's not that good. You target one of your banished Tri Brigades, add it to your hand. If you basically do your Tri Brigade play, you banish from the graveyard to summon a, a monster from the extra deck, you then add back one of the banished monsters. Does not seem that good. And if you battle with your Tri Brigade, you get to return the opponent's monster back to the hand. All right. Dogmatica Matrix, very important for the Dogmatica combo and has an additional benefit if your opponent controls a monster. So very good for turn two. Very nice. Uh, also, if you give your opponent Ibli, give them Ibli turn one and then you get even your Wombo comboing on your turn one. Very nice. Tally Ho Springins. This was in my Springin video. Good for adding, searching. We got more cards coming. It's about to get a little crazy here. Get ready, okay? Light of the Branded. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I showcased this. Uh, look at that lore. Uh, she's fallen and he's uh, trying to catch her. All right. Target a fusion on the field or in the graveyard, either graveyard. Return it to the extra deck. Then you can special summon Albas from your graveyard to your fields and one monster from your opponent's graveyard to their fields. And then your Albaz hopefully fuses with their monster. That'd be very cool. Fusion on field or either graveyard, quick effects. Get that Albaz effect. Very nice. All right. Whoa. <laughs> A lot of people wanted this. Is Sprint coming with this, though? Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Target a monster on the field or in either graveyard. So we right away, we know. We know that the, uh, you know, that the jet searches this, okay? The jet could search this. Or the jet could search, let me see if I'm doing this correctly, Smasher. Smasher, I think I have to do the, uh, the thing. This maybe shows it. Oh, it didn't show it. Okay. Uh, you know the Smasher. There you go. Smasher. Oh, there you go. Uh, so if you do no space, it will do and or. You're going to search the Smasher or a Sprite Starter or now this. Now, why would you search this? Let's type extra deck sprite deck and let's remove the search terms here so you will see that the sprites are playing the elf and the gigantic sprite and you should know that it combos with these so what it essentially does is you target a monster on the field or in either graveyard and then you're going to attach the monster to your exceed or you're going to special summon or take control of the monster to where your sprite elf is pointing to. So wherever your elf's pointing to, take control or special summon that monster from either graveyard or on your opponent's field or from the graveyard or on the opponent's field, attach it to your exceed. There's a lot of versatility there. It is a targeting effect. And then uh, there you go. Very cool. 
uh, yoink under your seed or take control or special summon recycle your own monster or theirs insanely versatile if they activate a tier limit effect this now stops the tier limit effect or you just want to take control of their monster there's just there's a lot of stuff you could do here very very cool and uh of you know showing you that it is seeing use cross and smashers and starter three cards you could search with the jet all right let's move on the thunder cross target a number of monsters on the field and our graveyards equal to the difference between your banished cards and your opponents what the heck did i just read banish them and then your opponents could special summon one of one monster from their uh their deck oh um yeah i don't uh hmm interesting branded beast some branded players will play this some will not it's going to be a mix it's going to probably be like a 50 percent split i'm thinking i'd uh yeah branded lost branded regain some people playing just branded lost i like this card it's pop any card face up face down target one card pop it by tributing a bestial or tribute a dragon i should say but that will probably be the bestial you control you need to control bestial to activate this and then during the end phase, you also, so the uh, Bestial Lubellion Recycle uh, is able to play this face up, but then this card could target a con branded continuous spell trap in your graveyard, your branded lost, or your branded regain, play it on your field. So you get that double benefit, double face up branded spell and trap from the Lubellion search in this, and then this extending. Very cool. I don't, what? I don't know what this is. What is this? Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets one bestial you control and no other cards, or when your opponent activates a card or effect in response to the activation of your bestial monster effect, and you don't have to control a bestial to activate this, okay, you can target a light or dark in either graveyard, banish it, and if you do, negate that activated effect. Interesting. They activate... Uh, target your bestial or chain to your bestial this is a continuous trap so it's wait it, it is once per turn but it's not hard so you could have multiple copies if you uh, all right multiple copies of this multiple uh, negates and uh, get banish it we really hate light and dark monster decks well we hate mer uh, i was gonna say mermails tear laments i was thinking mermaids all right hmm Maybe we could build like a super anti tier limit deck and have fun with this card. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the full best deals uh, playable because they're being limited to one, a lot of them. All right, boom. Protection elements. This is the spell and trap card negate for elemental heroes. You banish your elemental hero, you then negate the activation of a spell and trap card. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And there's no good way to search this uh, as far as I know. So I don't know if it's going to be that good but it is not hard once per turn. Even though you read this, this is for a different effect. So multiple copies, multiple negates, but you need multiple heroes to banish from your field. Oh, big one's coming. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Boom! Garura is coming! TCG exclusive. Does Japan even have this yet? I, I, I don't know. I don't... Uh, I stopped looking and caring really uh, that in depth on what, who has what and who doesn't. Oh my, why are people going nuts about this? Well, if we look at it, there's multiple reasons. L let's talk about Moodragon. Two monsters with the same attribute, but bif different types. So that would be a two dark monsters. One would be a warrior. One would be an aqua. So that is what you would do. But when you play against a deck like Tier Lament, with the same type and attribute but different names you now could have you could now fuse with two tier limits so that could be sharon and a Havnis could now fuse into the garura so if you're using a card like super poly also so this is the benefit of using tier limits to fuse into this and if you're using super poly it's now easier to polymerize with your opponent's field. And this card is now playable at three. Uh, I mean, think about multiple decks. If you, you may, I don't without even thinking about it, your deck very likely is full of monsters with the same attribute, same type. So think about Black Wings. They're all dark. 
They are all wing beast. And then you take two of them with different names. And now I'm fusing them into a Garura with super poly. Now, what else makes this card broken? The first effect, uh, you know, it's uh, kind of funny, but it's not the main reason why it's broken. Any battle damage your opponent takes from this battle involves this, involving this card is doubled. So for some reason, it's a 3K punch to the face. What the heck? Now, the more important part of this card, and I mean, this part is very important. If sent to the graveyard, you could draw one card. Does it say fusion summoned? Does it say from the fields? No. If sent to the graveyard in any way, you get to draw one card. So if you think Upstart Goblin is broken, then you could play Extra Foolish Burial. Uh, hopefully I'm spelling it correct. It's like Extra Dash Foolish Burial, but I think it has some restriction. You cannot set spell and trap cards the turn you activate this, but at the cost of half your life points, sending Garura, you now get to draw one. Instead of giving your opponent plus 1,000 life, that's crazy. I'm going to show you the actual reasons why it's crazy. So we know from Super Poly, that's great. We know now Ultimate Slayer. Send a Garura to spin your opponent's fusion back to the extra deck, and then you get to draw one. How about Dogmatica Punishment? Uh, you know, it's 1,500 attack, so it's a little bit more difficult to use with the Dogmatica Punishment. But if they have a monster with equal or, equal or less attack than the Garura that you're sending, you get to draw one instead of popping a card with the Entis. All right, so, you know, it's an additional benefit there if you want to draw instead. And uh, we already talked about the Tier Limit Merly, I should say, not Merly specifically, but Tier Limits being able to fuse into it. You could see all the usage stuff there. Very good. And Beatrice. Why am I talking about Beatrice? Well, Garura is level six. So with Bistials now in the game and uh, especially using this in tier limits you could make an easier beatrice either two bestials or a garura and the uh beatrice and because this is a quick effect detach it doesn't care how it's sent to the graveyard you're going to draw one so beatrice into draw one very nice now why am i showing you sprite elf well a common play would be you summon garura you get merly on the field and this is the best way with Merly, because you draw one, to make a Sprite Elf. Boom. Just plus one. Draw one. Oh, why not? That's nuts. So very cool there. And uh, do you have any more thoughts about it? Okay. So yeah, we're going to move on. And uh, this is big. I'm going to play it in Dogmatica. Play it in any Super Poly deck. You're going to play it in Tier Limits. You're going to see this a lot and probably forever. This card was probably a mistake from Konami to ever make. <laughs> Just saying. I think a lot of people would agree with that. All right. Grand Gugunal, the Dust Dragon. This is going to be a part of some core combos of Branded Despia. The top Branded Despia decks, they are playing it with the Blazing Cartesia. Very cool. It could send a Bestial Lubellion from your deck to the graveyard, or it could send an Albion Dragon, which you normally do with your Mirror Jade to get your combos going. And it's got the additional effect of uh, summoning a Dogmatica from your deck or a Despia from your extra deck. Very cool. If a monster is summoned from your opponent's activated monster effect. Boom. This is going to be core to the branded Despia. And we got some more exclusive cards you have not seen yet. I know this video is long, but I, from feedback, people said they like this. So that's cool. We'll do this. Rinbrum Striking Dragon. This is going to be Power Ranger, Branded, Fusioning. Negate the effect of an extra deck monster, including your own Mirror Jade, so that you can send, still use its banishment effect during your opponent's turn. Very good. All right. And, uh, the other effect is also nuts, too. I mean, being able to special summon Albaz from your graveyard to fuse with your opponent's fields. What the? It, you may want to send this from your extra deck to the graveyard with Mirror Jade which it's now improperly summoned. It was not summoned properly, and it's in your graveyard. So it's not going to be able to special summon itself. So when it says either this card or the Albaz, but it could still summon Albaz to fuse your opponent's fields. Very cool. Wake up your elemental hero. This will consistently allow heroes to now get their mass change. Mass, there you go. Mass change into your Dark Law. It's now consistently doing it because you're going to make DPE to pop this on your field during your turn one play, and you are then going to have the Dark Law. You're not going to have to randomly draw it anymore. Very nice. Armed Neos. There was a promise from our top tier uh, Armed Dragon player. Let's see real quick. Heartbreaker says, 
that he will. You see Arm Dragon here. Oh, look at that. Heartbreaker. Top, 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 top. Win, 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 win. He promises he's going to try the card out, even though that the card doesn't really help out the way he plays Arm Dragon. So I'm looking forward to that. I better see it. Are you ready for a big one? Wallow. Rank six exceed with the Bestials. This is pretty cool. So you get the Bestials out, and then what do the Bestials do? They disrupt light and dark from your opponent's graveyard. So they disrupt the tier element fusion, right? Well, this also could disrupt the tier element fusion. It's got the quick effect of also, you know, it gains a boost. Your monsters gain 100 attack and defense for each card in your opponent's graveyard. So if you're playing against tier, you're going to get super boosted. Quick effect. So you're thinking about, uh, you know, do we make this or Beatrice? Well, this is more disruptive. Quick effect, target a card, not a monster, a card, any card in your opponent's graveyard. You detach one or two materials from this card, and then you get to return that card back in the deck, which would be disrupting a tier limit fusion on their activation, or just take it, just yoink it. You could summon it to your field face up or face down, and if it's a card, not a monster card, you could set it to your field. <laughs> what? Set upon agreed. And I don't see where you can't activate that card right away. Yoink that pot of greed and use it right away. So this could steal a triple tactics talent and then use the triple tactics talent if, let's say, they ho chain Hovness and you're like, oh, yes, please do. Thank you for your triple tactics talent. I'm going to be using it now. All right. All right. Yup, 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 yup. Very cool. Sargas. You don't care about level eight monsters. Well, do you care about level four? You make a rank four exceed spring in, and then you overlay this on top of it, and then you detach and you search for your Therion. Big boy. Big boy Therion. This is going to be very good for Regulus. If you're playing a machine deck, you now have Omni Negate in pretty much any deck that's playing machine, uh, or even plant if you're going to be playing the Borea instead with it to search field spell, then the Regulus. So very good card for spring in and techable being used in Super Heavy Samurai and TCG right now. Now, we have another pretty good card. Boom! Meriologic Aggregator. If this card is exceeds summon, you could send one card from your action deck to the graveyard. Well, from what I know, this level 9 crazy monster, level 9 exceed, it's going to be better for the other effect like Garura. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you could target a face-up card in the fields. Face-up card, not monster. Negate its effects until the end of this turn. So what are you going to do? You're going to get slain. So you're going to deal. So the Slayer just keeps getting better. And it's got an animation. So here's some people using it. Ooh, okay, interesting. And that's going to be very nice to now you have a good exceed to send to the grave to, to spin their exceed back to the extra. What else does this do? If you were to actually summon this, which, uh, hmm, you could target monster in your graveyard up to the number of materials this card has probably will just have two detached materials from this card equal to the number of those targets in the graveyard if you do attach those targets to this as material is there some combo here uh, that i don't know yeah i don't know uh aggregator combo the new exceed monster what's going on uh do, do people care that much i don't know besides sending to the graveyard i think that's going to be the way all right we're getting to the good stuff get ready not this it's uh it's got the animation though and it's not that great just straight up sorry yeah but uh moving on super producer this is very good for abyss actor and you know uh to be fair to be fair the tri brigade also likes being sent to the graveyard all right let's be fair let's fairly if sent to the graveyard like that's a theme get your action deck monster in the graveyard you then get to send a beast, wing beast, beast warrior from your action deck to the graveyard, which is Garura. So ultimate slayer, send this to deal with your opponents. And I, I should have said that with the dogmatic punishment earlier, that a 1500 attack is not good. I know someone in the comments going to be like, wow, DK didn't know. C calm down, calm down. So you send this to deal with 3,500 attack or less with your dogmatic punishment. Then you send the Garura. Then you get to draw one. Very cool. All right, got it. Super producer, good for Abyss actor, and then oh my Jesus, boom! The sprint is coming. It is coming. We are coming. This card is nuts. 
it is going to be the first card you make in your sprite play. So forget about going right away into gigantic sprite or the, the elf. You want to make sprint before the elf because the elf and the sprint cannot be used as link material. And you're going to want to be using this to get your combos going because let's let's just say what it does. All right. You make this just like an elf. Two monsters, including a level rank slash link to monster. You can only use one of the following effects once a turn and only once that turn. If this card is link summoned, you send a level two from your deck to the graveyard. So what is Sprite going to do? They're now going to play Angler. 100%. They're all doing it. The TCG, everyone, OCG. If this is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, you special summon up to two or uh, up to two level three or lower nimble monsters from your deck. They're all, already playing the nimble beaver. So you're going to get two beavers on the field, and that's going to be a uh, plus two monster on the field after making your sprint. And then you can make gigantic sprite with a beaver plus the sprint, and then special summon from your deck a whatever you have not summoned already, and then you're going to make elf afterward. Very good. What else can it send, though? Well, boom, Merly. Did you, for some reason, not trigger any of your plays? You were, were not able to get Sprint in. You were not able to get Fusion. Well, Sprint's going to get Merly from your deck to the graveyard to get Fusion summoning. So what would be a good way to summon Sprint if you don't really have access to Merly? Or, uh, yeah, so let's talk about that. Dark. Dark, dark, dark. Let's spell it correctly. There we go. Dark, steal a dark monster from your opponent's graveyard, make Sprint, and then send Merly from your deck to the grave. Just like that. So it could be a pretty decent uh, going second if you're playing through multiple disruptions and you just really could not get a fusion going. Very good. Adds consistency. Tier limit players, we're playing this. It's got another effect. But another monster special summoned while this card's on the field and you control and exceed. You could detach a material from an exceed that you control, then target a monster on the field, return it to the hand. So again, opponent special summons a monster, or if another monster special summon while this card's on the field, which means you could trigger it. You or your opponent special summon a monster. And you, let's say we're doing this during the opponent's turn because we use the first effect, which means we can't use the second effect the turn it was summoned. You then get to target a monster on the field, return it to the hand. Now, uh, you know, you could return your own monster if you want to, but you'll probably be using it as disruption to return your opponent's monster. So extra disruption, extra consistency, sprite got better, tier limit got better. And I think that's it for the cards. There you go. That's it. Uh, make sure you go to the leak part of the site. And, I'll, you know, I'll leak it. Oh, we got to load this. Come on, I'm going to fire a dev. It doesn't load on the second load. There we go. These are the previous leaks. Check them out uh, for the video and the combos and more in-depth uh, talking about what they do. For example, the ninja video, I go into what the ninjas are doing. But, DK, you didn't show any ninjas today. This is a structure deck. And I will say that I don't know when the structure deck's coming. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week. It could uh, very likely be next month, but it is the next new structure deck if they don't release Ice Barrier before this, which was leaked about a year ago. All right? Do not forget about the giveaway. Like, subscribe, comment for the $100 to hop in, and also I will be streaming tomorrow on twitch.tv slash decade. New box opening. New cards I'm dealing with. Let me know what decks you want me to focus on because i'm going to brush up on my skills tonight with those decks on what to play tomorrow so i appreciate you all very very much thank you thank you thank you we are out again all of this was just educated guesses all right uh, we we ain't leaking we guessing